All right, guys, this is the new Extreme Pro Series by Green Touch that I just picked up. I don't know why this is, there's really low light in here and they're showing that it's yellow, but it's not. They're green. So I'm going to get this opened up. Um, so anyway, this time, like the last ones, um, the last couple that I ordered, they did not come with um, the engine mounts or the engine supports. Um, so now they do, which is great. I know, I'm sorry, I should have this up on a table and all this stuff, so, but anyway. We'll see what this is about. Oh, my hot wife is gonna videotape it. Now I can stand up and pull it out. Videotape. Whatever, I'm old. Digitally record. So anyway, these are the four position racks. I always get the four because we do a lot of commercial stuff. I always have to have a lot of sticks on the truck with me. So I like the fact that they are now including, don't you like that they include the engine mounts now? Instead of spending the extra 60 bucks for them. Let's take this off. I gotta keep the box because we're probably gonna be giving away the, the other ones that we have are brand spanking new, but we just went ahead and upgraded to the new ones. So, okay. So these are for the engine mounts. That's pretty sweet. These are included now. Uh, so I guess it'll go like, this will clamp onto here. This will go through here. And these are your resting pads right there. So this is pretty sweet. So um, what I'll do is probably tomorrow, I'll probably put these in tomorrow. Um, I have the guys go out and do some stuff. Um, got some errands to run. Oh, we gotta take that Shindawa back tomorrow and pick up an Echo. Um, and I'll probably install these tomorrow. Yeah, yeah these are they're green now. Oh, it comes with a combination kit now. <laughs> This what? feels way easier than the yellow ones. Way easier. Nice. So it's got a combination to it now instead of oh, cool. the keys, which that actually works out for us because it's easier to give the guys the key, the uh, combination instead of the key. Because we're on these commercial properties and we leave the trailers, um, we leave the trailer door down. Um, sometimes they'll leave it down. And that way, instead of having them like lift up the, the ramp doors, um, instead of everybody having a key and people can make copies of the keys, you know, if they don't work here anymore, uh, at least we can do the combination because we can always change that. So that'll be cool when the guys go off the truck, they know their combination so they can leave it all locked up. Um, if there's equipment that's on here that people aren't using. Um, but yeah, this is, pretty, this is pretty sweet. Everything else pretty much looks the same. I'll do a, I'll do a review on it once we uh, install them, but this is lighter though. There's a couple pieces that it, it feels, I don't know, it feels a little leaner and a little lighter. And the lock latches definitely feel like they glide a lot better. These are smaller right here instead of having the eyelets. Um, so yeah, I'll do a review on this um, as we install it tomorrow. Okay guys, so I got the uh, new green touch racks I upgraded to. So what I'm gonna do is uh, swap them out for these right here. And then what we'll be doing, as you can see, these are brand new. Um, I've only had them, I mean, I've only used them for a few weeks. Um, it's not like I just wanted to blow money. Uh, I just saw the new ones and I like the combination lock idea. Cause right now we have the key and the keys get lost and then we can't ever lock them. So um, what we're going to do is um, try the combination out. And then that way, if there's an employee issue or whatever, I can always change the combination. Because um, what we're having to do, if like a guy's gone, they know where we work. You know, we leave the trailers down. We're out in these huge properties for long periods of time. Um, I don't like leaving the stuff unsecured. So I like liking it, locking it. Um, trailer still isn't uh, done being set up yet. Um, I'm actually, I'm ordering... 
some uh, green touch uh, big tool racks. Um, those equipment defenders are so flimsy. Uh, let me show you this. This is junk. Look at that. Like they bend. Like this is pure junk right there. So um, I'm getting the real ones by the original masters, um, the green touch ones, and they're you know they come up at an angle and they're they're pretty freaking insane, sturdy. Um, as soon as Green Touch is uh, ready with their blower racks, I'm going to get a couple of those and put them in here. All right, so uh, I'm going to go grab some tools. And what we're going to do is actually because the mounts look the same um, on the new Green Touch from here to here. So what we're going to do is just take it off here and just replace this piece here and then the piece on the bottom. Um, and then take the whole rack off and then throw the green ones up there and then put the... Um, Put the engine sport mounts on the new ones. So yeah, we'll be giving these sexy suckers away. Um, we're going to do like a 4,000 YouTube follower giveaway. So um, it's, uh, I mean, with now they include it, but when I bought these, you know, a few weeks ago or six weeks ago, however long, I mean, you got a, about a $330, $340 setup um, that we're just going to give away. And yeah, um, I should keep these and be a smart guy and keep them you know, for when we do another trailer. Um, but I do want to take the opportunity, something I'm not going to use for a while, um, and give back to everybody um, that watches the channel um, and say thank you. So uh, we're going to give these brand new bad boys away. Yeah. All right, let's get everything off of here. We can just set these down here. Dog was down here. So my FS91 down here. And I use this little rack down here as a tool rack. Alright. Alright, so let's take let's take it off the oh gotta do it. Oh, okay, never mind, we can't do it that way. Let's take it off of the bolts on the bottom. Let's see if this fits. Oh, sweet. Just mm. so FYI, the edger tool, the nut on the back, just realize that it actually fits the bolts on the green touch rack. So your edger tool with a flathead actually fits the nuts for, for the green touch. That's pretty sweet. So we're going to take this off. We're going to see if we can interchange it. I didn't ask. Um, the guys, if it does interchange, so um, we'll have to find out. I have them tight, but I have some real bad shoulder pain. So, you know, for my surgery, and I started working out recently, and I think that I pushed it too much. So that's why it seems a little more effort into this. All right, so we got the bottom one off. Take the top one. Like I said, I don't know if this is going to work. If you can just interchange it this way. If you have the Pro, you know, the Extreme Series on here, the four touches, by the way, is what I use. Um, but if you have it, if it's able to interchange, that way you don't have to remount anything. Um, but if it does, that'll be pretty sweet. I just looked at it yesterday, and I was just like, I wonder, because it looked like it it would. So. So these look to line up to where I didn't have to dismount anything. That is awesome.
Okay, that needs some adjusting. All right, so this needs to be adjusted back then. So I would just take this. back just a little bit let's try this there's no more like sliding outlets all right definitely slide that in easier. All right, now let's set up these. I had it. Well, I need to put them on top anyways. So that one's good then. I can tweak it. Hell yeah. All right. Let's go get the motor mounts. All right guys, so here we go with the new Pro Series, um, Extreme Pro Series by Green Touch. Um, so as you saw what I did, um, I left my wall mounts on and all I did was just interchange them um, and they interchanged perfectly fine. Um, one thing I did do, the new racks um, come with um, new engine mounts. <clears throat> it's preference, like I see some of the guys like the new mounts. I actually prefer the old mounts, so I'm going to be giving the brand new mount style away with the previous model racks. So you'll still get that. I just The way that I already have my stuff set up, um, it just seemed to just work better instead of moving all of these around and readjusting everything. I just had to tweak these up and down just a little bit. Um, for the most part, um, it's, it's definitely interchangeable, the old engine mount kit. Um, with the new rack so um, anyways so as far as you know the differences between it um, there's really not much other than just a couple of differences so you don't have the guiding eyelets anymore um, it's just a little leaner design um, you know it'll just go straight you know straight into the eye socket there so um, it's not like it's worse or better it's just different um, it's no big deal Honestly, I think the good part about it is because I noticed my guys taking the equipment and kind of slamming it in because they expect the, you know, the eyelet, um, you know, to guide it in. So I think if anything, this is actually going to put more thought and training into the guys putting the equipment up the right way because you can't just slam it forward. You have to take a minute and, and actually line it up and put it in. So I doubt that was their intention when the guys redid this. But for me personally, having a bunch of different guys in and out of the truck, I actually like that a lot. So here's the combination deal. So um, just you know, the other one, it's the same operating concept um, besides the fact that it's a combination now instead of a you know, key-driven lock. And I like the combination. Right now it's a default. Um, so how this would work is, um, well, first of all, that goes all the way over there. You'll pull it this way, um, then you'll lock it, okay? And then, hold on a second. Oh, I have to change, I have to turn the combo. Okay, so, um, and then nothing will come out. So sorry about that. I actually, it was still set on unlock. The code was set on unlock, so it wasn't locking. So anyway, you know, move the numbers around, push it in to lock it. Um, once this is actually pulled this way, cause this is how, you know, the top is how you lock the whole system without the lock in here, regardless, these will still, um, you know, these will still lock, but when this is pushed in and the lock is set, you can't turn this to unlock it. Okay. Sorry, it's too close. So when this is turned all the way to the unlock position, which is 90 degree angles to the left, um, everything will come out. Um, whether you have the lock activated, the, the combination or key lock activated, either way, if you turn this um, flush to zero, these will not open. But the difference is once you, you know, spin your combination around, push this into lock it, you can no longer take this to unlock position 
to pull this out. So that's how that works for anybody that's new to checking out these racks. Um, yeah, can you still break into a trailer and get whatever you want? Yep, but this is definitely gonna be a deterrent. Um, I think of the best magnitude you can get for the inside of a trailer. Besides welding and, you know, drilling thing, I mean, welding to the frame because they can still come in here with Allen wrenches and undo this and take the whole thing. That's the case on any enclosed trailer. Um, and the difference between an enclosed trailer setup and an, um, you know, an open trailers, the racks can be welded, um, but most racks are still bolted. So this isn't a hundred percent to be treated or um, thought of as 100% you know, theft proof. This is a theft deterrent system. So if somebody's walking in, say we're, you know, we're at a condo, we're working, you know, they're like, oh snap, look at that stuff right there. Let me see if anybody looking, anybody looking. Yeah, look behind you, make sure nobody's coming. Nobody's coming. I'm gonna step up here real quick. I'm gonna grab me weed here. What the hell? What the hell, man? What the hell? I can't get the weed eater off here. A little thumb thing. Oh, wait, wait, what the hell? I mean, you know, then you're shaking the entire trailer. They're going crazy. They're not gonna be able to get it out. If they're not so scared to death, they notice this. They may see that this moves. They can't get it to come loose. They're out of there. So um, that's the thing. And then when they notice that there's a lock, um, you know, that's, that's gonna help even more. So, um, big kudos on the racks. So these racks are, um, these racks are sweet. Um, so once you turn the combination, push it in, pull it out, it unlocks it and you come up here and turn this and you know, there you go. Now you have freedom. So, um, why do I like these racks? One, I like the racks a lot because they look freaking sick. I don't care how shallow that is. They look sick. Why do we buy awesome mowers, awesome trailers? We love the way it looks. When things look really cool, it gives a euphoric little, you know, tingle on the job and you love all that stuff. Two, they just look so industrial from hell. I love the way that uh, they feel. They feel very, very stout and very industrial. Um, for their, their, I mean, their organ, the organization in these racks feels just way more organized than the old racks we used to use where you throw it on there, everything turns sideways, turns upside down. On that, I love these racks because they keep the engines upright, you know? Yes, you can operate weed eaters and all that stuff upside down, but do I still believe, contrary to what the mechanics tell me, that you can ride around with these things upside down all the time? I do not believe it because I have done it. This is the longest lasting equipment i've ever had since i've been using these racks so these green touch industries uh, racks are hands down perfect for security durability looks and equipment uh, maintenance you know like and during the life of your equipment hands down absolutely you cannot argue that um, the engine mounts i definitely think are a must and it's pretty sweet that they now include them um, you know that series rack they didn't all the new series they did and again I'm not knocking these the new engine mount style I just prefer the old engine mount style because of the way that I already had all my stuff set up um, So I definitely want to thank um, you know Jordan the guys over there at Green Touch Industries for just kind of talking to me about the differences in the new stuff and really convincing me to uh, to go ahead and upgrade so um, that's the question is it worth spending the money and upgrading it. I'm gonna be completely honest with you and tell you if you could care less about, and, and here's the thing, the locks, I don't know how or why, but I, maybe it's a different spring system. This to me, it, the, and I'm, you can't knock that, that, that's fine. Those work really good. But this is even, it's like when you upgrade a phone, it's even faster, it's even smoother. You know what I mean? I love the new green. I love the new green. Don't upgrade and spend the money just because you like green, unless you're a person that likes green so much that you want to spend the money to upgrade, which I'm sure there are a lot of you guys out there like that. Um, as far as is it worth upgrading, I like the combination lock, um, and I like how much smoother it is. And for me, I like the eyelets having the guides taken out of them for my specific reasons why. 
Um, and the bottoms are a little bit more durable, which would work on open trailers. Um, but I personally like these better. So it's basically the same minus the lock, the outlet, um, and the ease of the spring system on these. Definitely seems to glide in and out. So if you like those reasons to upgrade, upgrade. If you haven't bought a pair of these yet and you still see these floating around, don't do it. Go buy the brand new ones, okay? Buy the new ones. Um, I think you get a better deal on these anyway. And, well, you definitely do because now you get the engine mounts. I put those on and I liked them, but I just, you know, I, I just, I like these. So um, I still have to go grab a new Echo to throw right there. Um, but, yeah, man, uh, I really like this stuff a lot. So you guys definitely check them out. And, and here's another thing, and, and I'm not trying to bash anybody, um, you know, because a lot of people rip people off and they copy people. But me, I personally do not support other companies that rip off companies and flat out steal their hard work and steal their ideas and steal their designs, slap it in a box, put their name on it and say that they came up with it. I can't stand that shit. Um, I'm a really loyal person, and if the product's good, there's no point to jump ship to somebody who ripped them off um, because they're trying to give me some incentive. I buy my products. Um, I give reviews on them because I just enjoy doing it, and it's, sometimes I don't enjoy doing it. Sometimes I do it just because people like me would go on the internet, try to find ideas for stuff. That's how I found out Ambrose, Jason Ambro. He's the man. Uh, that's how I found out you know, new ideas. I mean, I'm a 42 year old guy. I've been doing this for a long time, but I never set my trailers up and all that stuff until I watched, you know, um, Ambrose landscaping. And that's where I first saw the green touches. Um, you know, those models, but I went in and went for the four, four position racks. Cause I like those because I need them. Um, so anyways, um, you know, it's the originality is a big thing with me. The customer service with these guys is off the chain. Um, they'll hook you up and take care of you. Uh, <clears throat> Stay original, baby. That's what I'm saying. Stay original. So green touch racks. These are the Extreme Pro Series four position with my um, previous model engine mount supports. And I will be giving these away along with all of the new mounts and all of the hardware so you can mount this outside or inside. So um, Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so I'm gonna do a little separate, um, I'll do a separate thing on, on the giveaway style. So I need to stop talking about that. But anyway, thanks Jordan, thanks Screen Touch. Um, you guys are awesome and, and thanks for, you know, the shipping being expedited, you know, the codes that you give everybody. Guys like me, you know, we don't, we're not rich, you know, but we like to spend money on, you know, nice stuff to have nice stuff. So, you know, you guys, when you give out the codes, you know, for people that have discounts, I really appreciate it. So check them out, guys. Green Touch Industries. Stay original, baby.